let's take a look at the new ping putters golf shop online as i got two options here there's plenty of different heads and sizes and shapes but one thing that's really interesting with the new range of ping putters is i've got two of the four different faces you can get so they've almost designed their range of putters but you can choose what you want so if you want i've got like a smooth mill version here so i don't know if you'll see in that but we've got very fine milling and then this one we've got an insert with nothing no milling on it at all so i am presume these are going to have very different feels to them the silver and black colorway i think looks fantastic like proper fantastic so we do get this is the d572 and we get this nice silver to black with white line if you're into your big line up lines again you've got different necks different shapes that you can choose and that face definitely felt on the firmer side so if that's your jam that's going to be the firmer feeler of those two that i'm trying here so this one is the monday so it's quite a rounded shape loads of line up lines this one has the insert which is basically an insert with no milling on the face at all again it's the black and white kind of black to silver looks i do like this one it reminds me of an old zebra putter the looks of it yeah that does have a quite a different feeling um it's not as firm maybe a slightly softer pop off the face so i am liking the fact that they are really tailoring these to whatever you want uh, my only concern is that I do think the branding of it is a little out there. I know branding is something that maybe they don't care that much about, as in they're just called like new ping putters. I don't even know what they're called. Like D572 is a little, I can't remember, you know, you're going to have to really remember that. But I do like the fact that they're giving you options with the different faces. So you could really dial in, this putt's unmakeable, you could really dial in the feels that you want to the shape go in ah it goes in from there but not from there as always different grip options as well this is like the classic pistol grip which i do like and then we got this kind of flatter faced one with curved back plenty of options and again really good solid feeling putters i remember the days when everyone used ping putters that's all you gamed i would like to see those days back because they do make good ones clubs stream up the left out of bounds down the right and you can see how tree lined and tight this hole is simple rule of thumb for you to use uh, is you want to be as far down the hole as possible but in play in play is the key word so on this hole in play is the fairway everyone wants that but also the rough the rough's not crazy long here i could hit it in the rough if i hit my driver i'm only going to have a wedge in so i probably can get it on the green if i hit my hybrid and come back so go for my safer club, if you like. I might have a seven iron in. Now, the trouble with that is the rough's gonna be harder to hit the green with a seven iron because I've got to get it coming in, there's bunkers in front of the hole, basically. So you'll look at it coming in a certain angle. So for me, and for you, as far down as possible in play. If you hit your driver on a hole like this and only four of them out of 10 are going in play, find a club that goes in play and have more in. If you're confident enough to hit your driver, always send it down there as far as you can. Closer to the green with your next shot, you're gonna have a lower score. I'm gonna hit my driver. Yeah, I'll take that down the left side. Should just catch the fairway, but if it doesn't, like I say, it's only a wedge in. 